Hey, what's up guys? This is Josh with Argos Dogworks and we have a new way to do the treadmill that makes it way easier. So it's a cool new trick that I want to show you really quick. First thing is the setup of the treadmill. Obviously what we have is it's further away from the wall. So give yourself some extra space here. Thank you, Susan Ackerman. Give yourself a, couple, a little bit more space here because uh, that way the dog doesn't feel like they're walking right to the wall. So that's the first step. The second step is I actually take two leashes here. One is tied on this end, one is tied on this end. And you're gonna see how this works in just a minute, but each one has a clip here so they can reasonably fit to the dog in the middle. Now, one of the last steps is the hookup for your dog. How do you hook up to the treadmill? So we use, you can use a uh, martingale collars is probably better. What I'm gonna use, it's essentially called a dominant dog collar. So this hooks to this loop here, so it kind of creates a little slip lead, see that? So that's a dominant dog collar. You can use something like this, or you can use a martingale that fits close. Um, either one is going to work, but you're gonna need two of them. If this is your first time, use food to help uh, get them excited to go up onto the treadmill. Um, but Levi's already done this once, so we're not gonna use food. We're just gonna guide them up with the slip lead. Let's go, bud. Come on, up here. Good boy. Good. Let's go, Levi. Good boy. And then you take one leash here, you hook it to one collar, and then you take the other leash and you hook it to the other collar. And then you're going to take this and feed it through here to the front. This is your, your regular slip lead or a leash. Actually, I would recommend a slip lead over using a, uh, a flat collar or something like that. Um, but use a slip leak so it'll help give you a little bit of extra guidance, okay? Before you see how Levi got to this place, I want to talk about why this was so much easier than it has been in the past. It's the trick with the two leashes that you see on either side. When you do the traditional way, if you see my other uh, treadmill video, you put the dog on the treadmill with a leash and a prong collar. But the problem is that there's always an element of them a little bit stressed, there's always an element of them being a little nervous. and. Um, with the prong collar, there's a lot of escape routes, and what we want is we want to decrease the number of the escape routes. When you've got the leashes, leashes set up like this, they can't really go to the left because the leash will catch them. They can't go to the right, the leash will catch them. They can't really go too far behind, the leash will catch them. They go forward, the leash will catch them. So, in essence, it really kind of, it, it encourages them to deal with the task at hand. Um, and what you'll see in the video is uh, Levi is here for some really intense separation anxiety and, uh, and he's been a really uncomfortable dude. Treadmill is a huge confidence booster for him, but when we put it on him, his default is anxiety. So you're going to hear him kind of, uh, uh, you know, express that anxiety a little bit. Um, but then of course, after he gets through it and we let him work through it, we don't, you know, guide him at all. We just say, look, this is mother nature. Sometimes your life changes on a dime and you've got to be able to handle it and he can get to this place, but uh, you'll get to see what it looks like um, when, he, when we first do it. All right, we'll hit the go button. Good boy. Use this slip lead here, give him a little bit of extra guidance. Stand back so you can see. Good. Remember, this is just his second time doing it, so you guys still get to see a little bit of it being raw for him. Now this is one of the really cool things about the treadmill that I love. Levi has some crazy anxiety. Really intense separation anxiety. He can't be in a crate very well, easily. So that behavior and all that anxiety lasted for probably about 10 or 15 minutes while he was on the treadmill. but. We didn't give him any extra guidance. We just made him kind of really glue into the treadmill, what was happening, what was going on, and said, tough buddy, figure it out. Because the reality is, that's how Mother Nature works. There's not a whole lot of forgiveness, you know? It's, it's uh, in this blink of an eye, your life can change, and it's up to you to adapt and be able to kind of roll with the punches and, and go with it. And for a dog that has anxiety like Levi, that is the best thing we can do for a dog like him to really help him get over this eventually. Um, so I say all that to say that the treadmill is so beneficial for dogs like Levi. 
He's got lots of separation anxiety, lots of anxiety in general in the crate. I mean, he when he first came here, he was barking, barking, whining, trying to like bite, get out of the crate. I mean, ripping up crates, intense stuff. He's much better now, but a lot of that is because we're treating him the way Mother Nature would treat a dog like this. Absolutely zero forgiveness. You just gotta roll the punches, you gotta keep up, you gotta be able to survive, and if you can't, then you know there's not a good outcome for you. Not that I'm saying that, that we should completely go Mother Nature and say, well, you can no longer exist. It's not all what I'm saying. But what I am saying is that we need to honor a little bit of that because that's how dogs that have anxiety um, you know, really thrive. They need you to be real with them. They need you to be upfront with them. They need you to take that step and say, look, you know, this is how the world works. Sorry you don't like it, but you gotta get used to it. And that's what's really helping him. And all of that to say that one of the biggest things that have helped us get to the place we are now with him is the treadmill. The treadmill encompasses that that real, you know, life or death, mother nature sort of a mentality, probably better than anything else. So, this is our new way of doing the treadmill. We like the two leashes because it it, it leaves no escape routes and it really encourages them de encourages them to deal with the task at hand. And if you've got a dog at home that's got anxiety issues, get them on a treadmill. It will help more than you realize. My name is Josh Donahue. This is Argos Dog Works. This is Levi, and this is your How-To Treadmill 2.0. See you guys.